Um, pet peeve number one. <clears throat> when I'm driving and people don't use turn signals. Why why the why the fuck would you do that? Like I'm trying to be a responsible driver. Okay. I'm a new driver. I, I was lazy and I just got my permit. I'm sorry, can you see me? Do I need to take these? I'm gonna take them off. Um, I'm a new driver. I just got my permit because I'm a lazy bastard. Um, and I'm trying to, you know, follow the rules. Uh, and when you don't use your turn signal, that jeopardizes everything that I'm trying to do. Like, hold on, I'll fix this. You can't see me. There we go. You're trying, you know, you're jeopardizing everything that I'm trying to do. Why? Why? You know? Like, what if I rear end you? What then? Like, I don't have the money for that. Like, if I rear end you, or you rear end me, or something like that, like... I don't have the money to pay for that shit. No! Okay, second thing that I hate which is an extension of the number one. When I'm driving and somebody is riding up on my butt, so like if I'm driving in California or like somewhere on the East Coast, in fact, any big city, fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Why would you ride up on my butt like that? Why would you ride up on my butt like that? Get out of my space so that I can get out of other people's spaces. You just need to fucking stop. Okay. I don't have the insurance or the money to, to pay to get my car fixed or the insurance to help you pay for your car to get fixed. So if you could just, you know, stop doing that, that would be fucking great. Uh, pet peeve number three, which is also an extension of number one and two. When I'm driving and people get impatient on the road. Bitch, it's a 55, and I'm going 55, and you feel the need to pass me. Are you dying? Is your wife dying, or your child, or a family member? You know, is your wife about to give birth? Shit. What are you doing? Like, I'm going the correct speed limit, in the correct speed corridor, and you, you think it's that it's just fun to pass me? Like, you are so impatient. Why would you do that? Why can't you just sit behind me or like kind of scoot up and pressure me to go faster instead of, or actually don't do that because then I'll panic. Don't do that. Um, but I don't understand why you, why you can't just be patient. It just doesn't make sense to me. You're driving a car that can go up to 160 miles per hour. Uh, you're getting where you need to go. I'm going the correct speed limit. You're going the correct speed limit. It's not my fucking fault. You just need to stop being so damn impatient. <sighs> okay, pet peeve number four. Um, so, I'm still in high school, I'm a senior, so something I really hate is when um, I'm like walking in the hallway and then like somebody I know who I'm friends with like, sees me in the hallway, but I don't see them. And then they get mad at me because I didn't see them. First of all, bitch, what? I need to back up for like two seconds. Like, even if I did see you, you know, what's the percentage that I even wanted to talk to you in the first place? So, get over yourself. Damn, get over yourself. Okay, five. When people let their dog shit in the yard. Really? Like, my mom spends a lot of money and takes a lot of time and puts in a lot of effort to make our grass look nice. 
And you just gonna let your dog come in here and shit on everything? You could have walked five feet to the left or five feet to the right and fucking go to the neighbor's yard. Let your dog take a crap there. They don't care. They're not taking care of their grass. You really think they care? They don't. I care. My mom cares because she likes the grass all nice. But then you just had to go and let your dog crap there. And you don't pick it up. You know? Like, I understand. Your dog has to go when it has to go. But if you're not prepared to pick up that shit, literally, If I ever, if I see it again, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna make that person scrape it up with their shoe. If they don't have a bag, pick it up. Scrape it up with your shoe. Get it out of my yard right now. That's disgusting. And I walk through my grass when I come home and I get off the bus stop and I come and I walk across my grass. I don't wanna stop in dog poo. No. 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 Unacceptable. Don't ever let your dog go take a crap in my yard. Ever. Ever. Don't ever do that. Don't ever. Don't ever. Number six. Okay, I'm a choir student. I love singing. I love music. It's pretty much what my life revolves around, other than like Emma and my boyfriend. Yeah. So like, if I'm not doing any of those three things, if I'm not like dealing with any of those three things, then I'm singing or sleeping. But singing is definitely a big part of my life. <clears throat> okay, so I like to spare other people, um, you know, the, you know, breaking the silence by not singing anywhere but the choir room as much as possible, okay? If I'm in the choir room, and you're in the choir room, I don't care how hard your head hurts, I don't care how much it hurts, I don't care how much you feel like shit. If I'm singing in there, and you tell me, you ask me this question, you say, who's that song by, or where'd you hear that from? And then I respond with the answer, and then you tell me, uh, let's keep it that way. I'm gonna fucking punch you right in the genitals. I don't care if you're a girl or a guy, I will punch you in the genitals. Don't ever tell me that, ever. Okay, first of all, I'm in the choir room, so uh, there is a 100% reason for me to be singing because I'm a music student too. I actually happen to be a decent singer, okay? And if I sound like shit while I'm singing, then uh, it would be nice to have people let me know but you don't have to be a dick about it. Uh, three. Who gave you permission to, to let your opinion be known? You know, if your head hurts or you just feel like shit and you wanna be in dead silence, leave the fucking room. Leave. The choir room is for people to practice music and hang out with other people practicing music or not practice music at all because my friends are hanging out there. But if I'm in there and I'm singing, you have absolutely no right to tell me that I can't sing because it's a fucking play. And Emma, shout out to you because you know exactly how I fucking feel. Um, okay, six, eight, um, when girls or guys when people come to school wearing clothes that don't complement their body type. We'll start with boys. Boys, if, um, if you're gonna come to school in a bro tank, please have muscles, because otherwise you kind of look like a skeleton. Now obviously I'm not trying to be like one of those people that says, oh, you know, every it, you know, specific body types are more attractive than others. I was like, no, that those clothes don't complement you. You need to be wearing other clothes that make you look fabulous. That bro tank, that doesn't make you look fat. You look like a crack addict. That
that just came out of his trailer from snorting a line of coke. Or how, I don't even, I don't know how that works. I'm not a crack addict. So, however you guys do it up. I don't fucking know. I'm not, a, I'm not a, I don't do crack or I don't snort things. I don't, wet drugs are a no-no. At least for me. If you want to go and do that, leave me out of it. But you can go ahead. I don't, I mean, it's your life. But don't, don't include me. But like, you know. Shooting up. They shoot up crack, right? Sorry if I've offended any crack addicts out there. Um, okay, on to girls. If you come to school wearing clothes that don't compliment you, um, then I hate you. I don't like you. Um, what's really annoying uh, is when you continue to do it, even though um, everyone and all people have hinted to you that you shouldn't be wearing those clothes. No, I get it. You feel confident wearing those clothes. Um, but yeah. Please don't come to school wearing clothes that, that don't complement your body type. And like, I'm not, I'm not saying that girl, like girls who are, who are um, heavily built can't come to school wearing shorts. Um, uh, never mind. Um, number seven. Okay, this is gonna be. This is the last one. I'm really tired. Um, when people insist on talking shit about me in front of me. First of all, like, uh, why are you talking shit about me? It's been a long time since I've done anything to make people talk shit about me. I mean, unless you're talking about how I'm really mean to people, but that's just because you're stupid. Um, but in front of me, bitch, just say it to my face. You're like five feet from me. Just come on over here and fucking spew it all out. Vomit all of those nasty words right in my face so that I can tell you to suck a dick. Because I probably don't like you anyway. So...